the Demon Sub is a bit of a game changer, so we had to rethink the uh, cabinet ratios. And after you have that sort of thought process, is find a reference enclosure. So they had 24 cabinets available, and we started, you know, doing some ground plane measurements on individual boxes, trying to find, you know, a golden reference sample, and then two other samples for doing cardioid. So yeah, starting with the one box, and then the next thing is, okay, well, what is the sort of operating bandwidth? that we're, we're going to focus on here. A lot of people have like a infra preset with a 60 hertz low pass and some have 60, some have 80, some have 100 as an option. So I said, okay, let's take split difference between 68 and let's make a 70 and let's make 100. So once we've got those 70, 100 hertz building blocks, then we do the, the cardioid version of that. With cardioid, you can have, of course, a horizontal plus minus plus, or you can have a vertical minus plus plus, or you can have a plus minus plus. The, the nominal sort of one to measure is the plus minus plus and vertical. But looking at the demon, it's like, okay, it doesn't have rigging hardware. So we're not gonna be flying vertical columns of them yet so it was kind of an obvious choice to just go for the plus minus plus and so the the technique there is you sort of pick a nominal distance behind where you want to optimize your cancellation so for me that's about you know they're lining the front of the stage maybe five meters back so you put a ground plane microphone there you solo up the front firing speakers and you measure the energy refracting around and back at that point and then you solo up the rear firing speaker and you overlay the response. You have a look at, you know, the front versus the rear, and you come up with your EQ filters to match the front and rear frequency response behind the, the array. And then the next step is you look at the impulse response and you figure out what time delay you need on the rear firing to, to make it overlay with the, the front firing. And then once you've worked out your time delay, it's pretty simple, you just flip the polarity and, and you're done. So that was probably, I don't know, day and a half of mucking around just on the, the core base presets. And then after that, the next step is to look at optimizing the combination of top box with sub, the sub low transition and something, you know, with your nominal, I think we picked three to one, which became six to two in a, a large outdoor uh, set up that's what we we're doing sort of outdoor ground plane measurements and then we got into the the fun stuff where we had you know 12 top boxes per side and then we tr started with six demon subs then we expanded it to nine and we looked at some of the electronic delay steering arc uh, opening up the horizontal coverage since acs has these stage line mobile stages like so 200s and 250s and 320s and things like that we wanted to look at you know, optimizing the cardioid cancellation on the stage, underneath the stage. So we did another phase with six and nine, where we did some measurements on the overall array with ground plane microphones below the stage, behind it, and soloing up the front, soloing up the rears, looking what additional EQ we needed to apply to the rear firing on a, you know, configuration level to optimize the cancellation. So that was sort of the final step of uh, called preset development. <laughs>